hello and welcome back. We are in for a fun one. So we are going to watch one of the toilet bowls from the uh, this weekend. We got the MYXL versus the Hongzhou Spark. And I'm going to take a little bit of a time to talk about this match because it, it has a lot of controversy behind it for both teams. So we'll start with the Hongzhou Spark. Hongzhou Spark were a team that I personally and I think a lot of other people didn't rate super highly coming into this season. Uh, not because of lack of talent, just because they haven't proven to me that they were going to be a good team. And that is why I've generally had them pretty low. So they do have good talent. And the most important thing is they have good talent from Korea and they have good talent from the Chinese region as well. They're, all of their new additions, upcoming hype players like Liege, like Shy, are Chinese. Fortunately, we didn't see too much of the VAR. I haven't actually watched this game yet. This is the one game I haven't watched throughout from uh, APAC over the weekend just because I just didn't have enough time. So we're going to be working this out. But just from public outcry, I may as well catch you guys up. The Hongzhou Spark, as of today, which is uh, Monday, 26th of April, the Hongzhou Spark have announced that they are dropping both Paijon and Noru and... They are going to have Andante be as the interim head coach. So after the opening weekend of matches, they dropped two of their coaches. So that is questionable. That means I don't really know what to take from it because you're not going to cut your coaches for just the opening weekend. The only thing that I can think of is that they knew they weren't going to do, uh, do very well. They're like, obviously, they must have done poorly in scrims. They must have expected this loss. But losing, cutting your two coaches after the first weekend is an awful sign. Um, there was a lot of, uh, I guess, backlash from the community, especially the Chinese side, because they didn't play a lot of their new Chinese players. Uh, we saw Gushui bits and pieces, but even then, he got he got benched for Takayaki to play Winston at sometimes, which is like, I don't think anyone expected Takayaki to really ever play over Gushui, who is one of the better Winstons that we have in the game. Then we had Liege didn't play at all, one of the hypest like off tanks coming in. And then we have uh, Shy, who I think played a little bit, maybe like one map, but why is this not happening? And then there's been a pretty swift response um, from the Spark on the coaching side. So obviously something's fallen down. Pajon is honestly not too surprising. Pajon has gotten a lot of back and forth of, is he really as good as we thought he is? Um, because I think, I'm I'm thinking of Pajon, the right Pajon, right? Uh, let's have a look at this. Look at his career. He was the Vancouver Titans coach, right? Which, you know, Pajon, I don't know how to, to, to say his name 100% correctly if I, if I did butcher it, but it's like he kind of inherited the runaway team that was then really good, but then was also a part of it during the time that it fell apart. So it's very back and forth on whether or not he is a good coach or not. I've heard, I've heard mixed things. Um, but he's now lo no longer with the Spark. I'm excited to see what they're going to do. They did sign a new coach in Mentalist. Don't know much about him. He was a previous coach for the Atlanta Reign, which I don't really know what to take from that. But he also was on BDGG, I believe it was, uh, in, in Chinese Contenders. So he's coming in. We'll see what kind of effect he has, um, he has onto, onto this team. That's the Hongzhou Spark side uh, coming coming into this match, or well, sort of coming out of this match. But that's what you need to know. Uh, that's happened over the weekend. NYXL, on the other hand, is another team that had a pretty poor showing in the opening weekend. Everyone expected them to be really good, but then they went on to lose their opening match to the Chengdu Hunters in a devastating fashion. We haven't watched that game on stream yet, but they got three would and they didn't cap a single point. They didn't get a single point throughout the entirety of that match, and it wasn't pretty. If you want to go back and watch it, expect a slaughter. Um, coming into this match, you know, obviously it's kind of the toilet bowl, so we're expecting better things from NYXL. There's a lot of hype coming into them. When I did my preseason power rankings, a lot of people were quite upset that I put NYXL so low. I was like, they have a lot of rookies. I didn't want to rate them too highly, but after I saw that open scrim, they look like they have pretty good talent. But hey... Turns out having a lot of rookies is a big weakness having in your team. They did not have a good opening weekend. But I think if you're an MYXL fan, you don't need to panic just too much. Uh, we don't need to really think... You know, the worry for me 
isn't the talent that they have on this roster. It goes back to the coaching. And historically, the coaching on NYXL, you look at last season, the season before that, ever since 2018, really, they haven't had a good coaching structure. Uh, we had, uh, why not an IMT? So I think if I think this is how it was. IMT was the previous head coach, and then he switched with why not. Am I correct with that chat? Any nodders? They switched, right? So they have the same coaching structure, but they're just, someone's a different head coach. But that doesn't solve the problem, theoretically, right? That's not going to just put a band-aid as like, yeah, well, this person with the final decisions was wrong. So the worrying thing comes of, are they being coached well? Uh, we haven't seen as much Guangbung as we would have liked. Hey, you just played against Chengdu Hunters. I was expecting a lot more Guangbung because he's the hit scan player that you want going up against them. There's a lot of questions around this roster. But enough of me talking and getting, you know, a little bit confused about what's going on. That's the behind the scenes that you really need to know. Let's watch the match. Let's see where things really went wrong for both of these teams. Uh, and yeah, let's do it. He played and they didn't do well, yeah. Where does Gushui land on the Winston tier list? Gushui's hard to rank because I think if you asked in like 2019 and like early 2020, people would be like one of the best. But it's been a while, and people have improved a lot, and we've had a lot of great main tanks come into the league. You know, Mag, Fearless. Oh, well, Fearless has, you know, made a bigger name for himself. You know, we got Muse. We got fucking Jangu. Like, there's just so many good tanks in this thing, in the league right now. So, off the bat, let's see what we got. We got both got the Wrecking Ball Zen Brig uh, composition. I don't know if I like Bernard on the Diva. I think you kind of want the Sig, but, you know, they can make it work. And then we got Architect on the Echo, while Flora is on the Ash. Flora looks solid. Yeah, I think the DPS players are the people that I have the least question marks around for this MYXL roster. It's more around their tank line and Friday. So, let's have a look. I'm going to be looking pretty generally and not at the individual players as much, because I, I kind of want to see the grand scheme of what is going wrong. How's the Echo Ash tra match up with Tracer? Hey, it's kind of like I honestly think it's personal preference of the team. Like, what do you have a better one of? I th I don't think one leans too much, too heavily one way or the other. Alright, Spark goes first with their dive. Not really much. MYXL is just sort of hiding in a corner. Alright, good Yak Pong and alright, let's have a look at this. Yak Pong and Ivy execute a dive onto the Zen. Well played. Well played. Now IDK is just in trouble, right? He's just going to bleed out. He doesn't have any healing with him. Where was Banar for all of that? His whole support line just died. And he... Yeah, like, Banan needs to be helping his backline a little bit more. It feels like he's playing too offensive orientated, right? He's just sitting up here. He's looking for the kills. He's not looking to help anybody. Not peeling, yeah, is the, is the answer to that question. Alright, Bianca and Flora. Alright, good cleanup by MYXL. So. He followed Goosh way up there, yeah, but it's like... They weren't diving. Like, I can understand if he dove and then he went back to the backline, but he just sort of, like, kept, like, rotating around here, and then his backline does. They both played an original Toro Defiant. Yeah, I know. That was 2019 Toro Defiant. Good times, right? All right, we got a Tracer Duel here. Oh, actually, it's not even Tracer Duel. We got Ivy chasing Gooshway. See what Flora's doing. Uh, F8. Spark seem to be playing incredibly slowly. Like, they don't seem to be doing anything. Are they waiting for Gooshway? Oh, yeah, yeah. So they're waiting for Gooshway. They can keep Flora alive. Someone heal Flora. Jonak gets caught. All right. Friday gets him. Oh, big kills by Yakpong. That was, that was honestly a pretty good counter dive by, Dal uh, by MYXL. They did a pretty good job of consolidating. They're just, like, consolidating themselves in this room. And it doesn't feel like Spark can get anything done. It's also like just taking them too long to dive. Gosby gets Flora is actually a pretty big deal. See if he can live to tell the tale, though. Oh, Jonak 1v1. What do we got? 
Oh, alright, that's not really fair. It's not really a 1v1. Oh, Gosby. Ah, oh, you done fucked up now. They didn't even get the cap for that, so this is gonna be hard for... I think Spark just have to wait. Watch Flora die back then? Alright, I'll, I'll, I'll trust you guys. Let's see what we got here. Oh, don't chase him. Flora, no. Don't. Oh, he used his shift to... <laughs> oh, no. That was like... He did so many things wrong with that. That, that, that's just... That's the worst. Like, why does he use his shift to catch up? Like, I don't know why he uses this. But he then just, like, whiffs everything and then just... He missed the dynamite three times. Oh, that's something I would do. <laughs> uh, he belie hey, he believes in himself, and that's great. It doesn't mean you need to commit every resource. You need to have an insurance card in case you miss the shot, which you did. Like, and then he missed... Yeah, that... Uh, okay, I'm sorry, Flora. I shouldn't laugh as hard as I did, but that's... That's tragic. He shouldn't have done that. Should not have done that. <laughs> they got a bob. What? I... Is Architect dead? Please don't die. Why is so much fighting happening in this room? Why don't Spark go to point? I can't surely Spark can apply some pressure, at least draw some people away. Okay, here we go, Architect. Taking Sigma. Architects was not very good on this Echo in the first round. Oh, that's a good slam. Uh. Echo's gonna get bodied? Yeah, well then they need to, like, apply some pressure elsewhere. They, like, they can't go in that room. They're going against, like, a very defensive oriented. Like, they, they need to do something. They can't just dive into the room and expect everything to work out. Like, it's just not, it doesn't work like that. You need to- you need to do something that's gonna force MYXL to react. Instead of just running your head into them and expecting you to just, like, outplay them. Like, that doesn't work. Like, they- when they went in that room for that last fight where they had a roll, it's like, MYXL has Trance. They had Trance Flux... Um... They had Trance Flux... Uh... They had something else. Bob. Trance Flux Bob. You can't fight in that room. You're not gonna win. Any thoughts on Drone X so far? I haven't really- like, the only other MYXL game I watched... Because they've only played twice. I haven't seen this game at all. The only other MYXL game I watched was Chengdu. And Chengdu vs MYXL was not worth watching. Like, it literally, everybody looked bad. You can't just put that on Jonek. Alright, here we go. So they're going to give up this fight? Oh, they isolated... Where? Where's... Yakpong? Wow, that was so weird. He got, like, uppercut and then slammed into the roof. That was wildly unfortunate. Bernard did not get the memo that they were killing him, though, and gets isolated. Why do people not like Jonak anymore? I don't think it's not... I don't think it's not like Jonak. I think a lot of people are worried that Jonak isn't the... Like, isn't even a top-tier flex support anymore. That's what people are worried about. Because, obviously, NYXL sucked really hard last season. Now he's on a rookie team, it's like, is, does Dronak still have it? Right? That becomes the question. <laughs> and I think that question will be answered this season. Even though he's on a rookie team, he still needs to be able to perform. Mm. Wow, good slam into follow-up by the, by the spark. 
Where's Friday for that? That wasn't great. He needs to see the ball coming. Where's... Does he not see the ball coming? Yeah, he just didn't know where the ball was. Okay, there you go. Gooseway is just fucking right now, though. He's kind of cleaned him up and up, but yeah. Alright, let's go again. Yo, Foxes are the best. Thank you very much for the Prime Gaming sub. Welcome. Yo, so Lil, thank you for the 100 bits as well. I missed that one as well. Jonax style worries people. Most flex supports don't die easily or too much support around them. I feel like a lot of people are running with the idea that he's still playing Animo or he's still playing the old MYXL. And that's sort of why the question can be answered this season, right? Previous seasons, we could have been like, hey, Jonak is dying. Well, is Animo not protecting well enough? Is MYXL just playing poorly? Like, does their game plan just suck? He's on a completely retooled roster. He should, this should be nothing like last season. He has a new main support protecting him. He, if he keeps dying, then yes, it is Jonak's fault, right? If he's, if the same issues keep arising, as we saw last season. I feel like, uh... I feel like most of these fights come down to more mistakes than good plays. And that's what, that's the, that's the, the beauty of the toilet bowl, baby. Nobody wins. It's just who loses harder. EMP hits the back line. No, wait. Whoa, Flora. What are we doing here? Why? Why? <laughs> okay. Okay. Great EMP. Yeah, alright. This time though. This time. Let's get some Ivy Tracer. Didn't even hit the Zen. Yeah, he just like guessed that the Zen was going to be there. That was actually so bad. How's this out level play? And that happens from time to time. You're just like, how does that, did that happen? Where was Ivy during the EMP? Oh, I have no idea. Probably hoping it hits anybody in the front line. <laughs> Like, you can't expect Ivy to be able to follow up on that one. Still better than Lip seems- that's true, he did hit one person. Still better than Lip. Alright, here we go, Ivy. Well, that's a problem. Yeah, he has to back. He has to recall for that. The backline of Spark does seem to be playing better. Oh, Ivy dies. Okay, he did get booped. Okay, alright, alright, hey! Yo, IDK, good shit, buddy. Good shit. Alright, let, let's battle on MYXL. That was, that was actually, that was, that was actually a good play by IDK. I didn't see it at first, but that was actually sick by IDK. That was very well played. IDK carry, that was actually really good, yeah. I'm less mad at Yuckpong now, okay? It's fine. Not bad Yuckpong play, yeah, yeah. Alright, what are we seeing? Yo, we get to see some Spark Brawl? Yo, here we go. Whenever an Eastern Region team decides to play Brawl, I get a little bit nervous. Well, let's see how it goes.
Other than Philly, of course. Hey guys, I uh, hear me out, Spark. Hey Gooshway, I don't want to tell you how to play it, but throwing suggestions out here. When you play Brawl, you want to run at this guy. See this guy? Yeah, fuck this guy. Yeah, Gooshway. You see, you starting to see the issue, right? There's a there's a there's a big gap between you two. Don't worry, you got this guy over here. This guy was like, yo, don't worry, I'll get you there. So let's see how we do it. Let's go. Let's close the distance, baby. Here we go. Are we playing a counter dive kind of brawl style? You know, the classic counter dive brawl. Don't worry, they, it's not like they have an ash and a mercy that's gonna shoot you in the face. Time to my are, we, are we just gonna wait for the point? Okay, we're gonna wait for the point. Don't worry about it, guys. Just careful, there's an ash mercy that's shooting at you. Flora, you are literally asking to get run at. Please run at Flora. Somebody run at Flora. He's not he, The fact that he didn't run away here is just like mind boggling. Time to go. What? Okay. It's fine. Alright, we're good. It's fine, Spark. I understand. You don't want to. Alright, Gooshway is now dropped down to contest. I, 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 I don't know what I just witnessed. What? They didn't do anything! And now Bernard and IDK have just- Oh! I've decided to brawl? And fine. What did they just do? They didn't do anything! They just stood there and didn't go anywhere. Alright, Architect said enough of this shit. Alright, here we go, baby. That, uh... I've legitimately seen better brawl in my ranked games. Like, I, we could put a random assortment of six people from, like, top 500 ranked and we would play a better brawl than this. Yes, we are in NA, and we do play brawl, but, like, come on. Spark don't have any spark. Alright, here we go. That's fine. That was just that was just a first time kind of thing. Hey, look at how close they are. Look, look at, look at it, look at it, look at it. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Okay, this team. So now NYXL is playing dive, and they've decided to give the the closest, the shortest possible distance for Spark to be able to run at them. Here we go. Fucking go time. Green light, baby. Let's go, Gooshway. Run at them. Here we go. What? Oh, why Yakpung? No! Okay, we're gonna play it. We're gonna play a defensive type of brawl. These guys are asking to get run at. Alright, here we go. Nice, right, sweet. Here we go, speed boost. There it is, baby. Gooshway, I swear to God, if you don't put down your shield, okay, you're impeded now. That's fine. Now, now you, now your shield's down. If you could swing at this guy, you remember how I told you this guy? Yeah, this guy was talking shit. Joe was talking shit about you, huh? Yeah, go swing at him. Okay, you're running away. Okay, the most passive brawl to ever play. The IDK's in literally the only person playing brawl is IDK. IDK and Bonara are like, yo, we're gonna brawl. Let's go. Speed. Here we go. We're gonna run at them. Oh yeah, look at this. That's how you brawl. That's that's it. That's it. Gooshway's holding the S key. Okay. This time though, they don't have EMP or Bob this time. Or Bob, they don't have any ults. This this should be right up your alley, guys. Don't worry. Here we go, baby. Gooshway, 73% tunnel charge. Here we go. That's actually just tra devastating. Yo, Goblock, thank you for the f uh, three months. Woo, I was back, baby. Oh, yeah. All right, here we go. They're going to go the long way. Force the dive. I like it. Maybe get some point pressure. Here we go. Here we go.
Oh, that's funny. Oh, yo, you can throw diva bombs? Yo! Bernard, did you know you can do that? That's crazy. Did Gushway drop his shield at the last second? I think I broke at the last second. That's unfortunate. All right, here we go. Beat. Here we go. Speed forward. Yeah, fuck those mines. He has all. Here we go. Here we go. He's got all. Yeah. Fuck you, Bianca. I've never seen a Reinhardt hold their shield so much. Bro, yo, yo, Gooshway, like, you have to do something. You have to run at them at some point. You're playing Brawl. They're literally just letting Flora stand here with a mercy pocket. Like, let's get a bit of... Just run at them. Like, you have to run at them. They, their comp literally wins over time. Okay, unless Ivy feeds. Oh, actually, they traded a little bit. So, like, it, like, uh, where? I, I honestly feel like IDK has just given up on Gushway. Like, what are you? What is? What is even happening here? They're playing it like the other team's playing goats. Like, Flora is literally just gonna murder them. If they don't go, they're just gonna lose to Flora, and they. they I'm so confused. Like, they just... I, I, they're never allowed to play Brawl again. I'm making the executive's decision. Spark is never allowed to play Brawl again. That was... They didn't speed at a single person. If you're going to play... The reason Brawl... All right, let me... Let me stop molding for a second and explain what goes wrong there. You can play the Brawl versus that composition. But the way you win is that you just out-rotate. You have a Lucio while they don't. So they're Ana, they're Ash, they can't run away from you. You can catch them eventually. You just stay on speed boost and you run at them. And you just go, 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 go. Because eventually you will catch up to them and you will kill them. The problem is, when you are trying to do that, the counter to that is... If they are playing the Ash Mercy, which the NYXL were, so props to them, they had the right comp. If you're playing the Ash Mercy, they will do a lot of damage. So their job is to kill you before you close the distance. So it really becomes a like competition of who rotates faster and who catches up and who gets the kills, okay? But if you just stand there, then your win condition as the Brawl team no longer functions because you can't get kills. You're relying on your Tracer to somehow kill the Ash Mercy Anna and that kind of stuff. The ball is never going to have to do anything because you're not doing anything. They just had the diva just like standing on the point and then you eventually just bleed out. It it really confuses me how they don't understand the fundamentals of that if they're going to play that composition. Like they don't need to play that composition. So why they are doing that is confusing to me, especially when they play it so like who did that work against? Did they expect to be playing against a brawl mirror? Like, Gushway literally didn't get ultimate. Like, you're playing Brawl, Gushway didn't get ultimate until they were in overtime. Like, that's a problem. That means that he's not getting value from the Reinhardt. So that e means you're either playing the composition wrong, or you need a switch. And they didn't either. Well, n not they didn't either. They were playing the composition wrong, and they didn't switch. Oh, n no. Don't- Hey! What did I just say? I said this at the end of Busan. We're not gonna play Brawl anymore.
Don't you fucking teabag me. Alright, they're gonna play the Moira Brawl as well. Don't worry, don't worry, hey, hey, hey. Let's be nice to Spark, because they're helping us out by making it not seem like Baptiste is overpowered because Lamp is a bad ability. Spark can f crack the code. They'll never nerf Baptiste if people don't play him. Huh? Immortality field, bad you, uh, bad ability. All right, here we go. Maybe, maybe, maybe this is it. Hot take, Spark is super good at Brawl. Hey, it's fine. Okay, let's, maybe they may well- At least they're playing in a mirror now. We're playing a mirror Brawl. Here we go, baby. Oh, good wall. I think Yakpung needs to play more aggressively. Yakpung needs to play more aggressively because they have the lamp. They want to take this fight. If they play too long and MCD gets up the call less since they lose. Yeah, can you go run in Gooshway. They don't have a lamp. Like, you literally just kill the guy. Literally just kill the guy. Uh, yeah. And that's, that's why having a lamp is useful, because you don't have that insurance policy for your main tank. Look at old charge, yeah. Like, well, Gooshway's just, he's just holding his shield to, he, here's what it feels like. It feels like Gooshway is playing goats. He's playing the game as if we're playing goats. He's holding his shield, he's keeping it charged, he's giving his team, but the thing is you don't have the off angle anymore. Ryan is primarily the damage dealer in this composition. It's his job to swing. Why don't Eastern teams like Brawl? Uh, they're just- the Eastern region, in terms of Korea and Chinese regions, have always been... ...more likely to play Dive. They've always just played Dive, and they've just perfected it and been really good at it, and that's how they've always succeeded. While in the West... ...we- we like simple things. We like to press speed and then swing with our Reinhardt hammers. So, that's kind of like the big difference. Oh! Okay. How does that even happen? Wait, what? How did he one-shot him? Did Gosby dink him at the same time? Oh! What? Oh! Well, he just got one-shot. Oh! That was a good Maywall. Good Maywall by Architect. That was actually sick. I actually kind of like the play by MYXL, trying to redeem that. Alright, you guys gotta run, though. Oh, nice window. I actually like that. Pretty good Maywall. It should probably have been on top of the window. Oh, Yakpunk got frozen. Yo, Immortality. Yo, Yakpunk. Yo. Alright, he doesn't have Fire Strike yet. Here we go, here we go. Here's the big one. Here's the big one. Hit, throw it. Th oh, okay, never mind. It's done. Ah, uh, Yakpunk's fuck. Architect's walls have been pretty good. <clears throat> Architect, not bad. They used the coalescence though, but MYXL used a lot of ults to try and pull that back. They probably would have been better off just wiping and resetting. To force brawl, yeah, exactly. Like you got LH cut it. Oh, nice wall. Oh, nice mail. That actually did not go far enough. Why did he ult? Doesn't get the eat, so he bombs it? I don't think you need to do that, Bernard. But... Friday beats? This literally feels like goats. It feels like they just grabbed Diva bombed and he decided he needs to beat. Why did he beat? You have a mail down. You can't de beat a diva bomb. You just have to assume that people aren't gonna die to it. What? Oh, dude, what the fuck is happening? What? Oh, you got hit by that? Oh, that. Did he drop a shield or did it go under? If you jump, do you get shattered by that? I don't really know how that works. I don't actually understand that interaction. Bro, did they just diva bomb the other diva bomb? Did I IDK... Oh no, I think IDK beat it before. Oh, 
Why did it? Oh, that is, it's not as bad because I think he tried to say Gushway. What is this? Okay, here we go, baby. MCD almost has the call. Okay, they're gonna run. <laughs> I love how everyone just lets each other leave. <laughs> Fucking an NA, everyone's just running at you like it's a brawl to the death. There's no disengaging. How? Ah, oh, hey Liz, how's it going? Ah, right, here we go. Coalescence engage. Oh no! Wait, wait, lamp. Why did he? Oh, that's not even really Jonak's fault. I don't. Why is Flora go that way? All right, then we're gonna use a window after he dies. Yeah, get him. Gushway, I swear to God, if you don't swing... You're not, it, like, he's acting as if he's getting shot at. You don't get shot at in this meta. You get swung at. Swing back. Fight for yourself. Oh god, that's a problem. Oh, that's a big shadow by Yakpong. That might actually turn the fight. Oh, oh here we go. Brenton Reynolds, thank you very much for the two months. Love you, Cassie. Yo, thank you very much. Yo, Cringing Cabbages, thank you for the two months as well. He's going for a damage block medal, dude. He's actually gonna... Okay. Husa. Please get Gushway or Ryan, yeah. This is like one of those situations where I was like, can we just play double bubble? Alright, Ivy May out. Here we go, baby. Bianca, how aware are you of this? Let's go. Wait, no. But nah, how aware are you of this? Let's go. Catch this May out. You missed the last one. It's coming. Oh. Oh, he, oh, I think he gave up on it too early. I think he had it. The male didn't go far enough. He was so afraid of it getting eaten that he threw it in a corner. Where did he throw it? He put it here? Yeah, he, he, I thought he put it... Yeah, he needed to put it further ahead. All right, the other male was also not great. His defensive zoning males. Oh, there we go. All right, good wall by Ivy. These were actually good diva bombs. Good diva bombs. Oh. <laughs> Alright. Don't, bro, you, you're Reinhardt, man. You were just next to him. Were you? Alright. Is anyone on either of these teams okay? I wish I could say there was like a shining light. I guess Flora's been okay. Architect me, he's not bad. Okay. Okay. Yeah, Jonex playing okay. Jonex fine. He's just healing and throwing windows. I think he might be trying to overcompensate with the windows. Like, they always seem to be... I, I guess his team's just dying, so he's, like, trying to do something. But... That was a pretty good window. At least MYXL is actually brawling, yeah. Alright, here we go. Alright, this has to be... Gushway, we're gonna swing the hammer here, yeah? He, he, like, it was fortunate he pinned Jonak, but, like, here's my problem. He's just not swinging. Like, he can't stand here this whole time. Like, at first he was getting May frozen, I understand, but at this point, just swing, bro. Like, I would love, I wish I could see damage. I wish I could see damage done. Does Stats Lab have damage done? It does, right?
No, it just has hero usage. Am I... All right, here we go, here we go. T 2021. Uh, team. Uh, Hongzhou. Oh, sorry, so you can see what I'm doing. Not all. Hongzhou Spark. And, uh. Shit, is this gonna... Fuck. How do I do this? Match picker? Right. Uh, that's what I was after. Gushway Reinhardt. This is Busan. Can I look at combined maps? Gushway did on Reinhardt 11k down, 10.5k damage. Yakpong did 14, 15k damage. That's not as big as I was expecting it to be, but that's still 50% more damage. Especially seeing as Gushway played. How long did he play Reinhardt for? Does it tell me? Gushway played it for 21 minutes. Yakpong played it for 20 minutes. So he did 5,000 damage more in less time. What about damage blocked? I stand uh, You stop it. The telling part is blocked. Does it have it? Actually, uh, let's let's see. Let's see. Let's look. Damage blocked. We have. Let, we'll just have a look at it for you. Damage blocked. Yakpong did. Uh, sorry. Uh, yeah. Yakpong blocked 44k. Gushui blocked 43k. So Gushui didn't even block more damage. They re they received the same amount of healing. Took 3k more damage. Gushway went... Oh, yeah, here, here's the number for you. Here's, here's the number for you that I think is telling. Gushway on Reinhardt had 23 alim, alims, 17 deaths. That's not final blows. That's alims. He had 23 alims and 17 deaths. That's how little impact he had on getting kills. Compare that to what Yakpung did. Yakpung had 31 eliminations, 11 deaths. Can you pay your son? Boy, I'm, can you stop having a midlife crisis? I'm, I'm, I'm reviewing something. Is that okay? Do you mind if you hold off on the midlife crisis? Thanks, buddy. I appreciate it. This looks like an MTD, yeah. It, it's legitimately. Come on, let's go. Oh. God, I didn't eat my yogurt. Teamwork diff? I, it's not even teamwork. I honestly just think Gushway is playing it wrong. Yeah, you, I guess you can also sort of attach that to the rest of the team, but. Look at how much space they're giving them. Why are they giving them this much space? In a brawl meta, you can actually close that distance pretty easily. By giving them this much space, you're, you're kind of heading into one flight territory. Oh, well, we're just waiting for Architect to kill. Oh, they have a Widow. Gosby went Widow. Okay, I, I did not notice that. Big kill by Architect on the Drone Act. Oh! No! That's just mean! 
Fuck, I feel bad for Architect. You can't even... Yeah, <laughs> Yakbong's in the back line swinging on a Godsby. Oh my god, Gooshway just pinned Ivy. What is happening? Oh my. <laughs> this is just pandemonium. Actual gig play. Jesus. Boy, what? Okay, double windows. Banner bomb. I swear to God, Friday. Oh, wait, where's Jonah? Yakpong, look at the bomb, I swear to god! What are you- look at the bomb, bro! Oh, the 180 shatter though! Classic. Oh, IDK, that was actually just a feed. I, I, I can't. <laughs> I know, I'm upset as well, boy. I'm upset as well. Please just calm down. You're okay, buddy. Okay. That shadow was straight frowny town, yeah. I am totally not having a good time right now. Alright, Gosby Widow. Where are you going? The car, bro. Why are you still on Widow? You gotta go to the car. Bo hates this match. Uh, uh, so do I. One second, I need to make sure Bo's... We gotta help Bo. Come on, buddy. Food time, Bo. Come on. Thank you. Alright, there we go. It's food time for Bo. Sub Gooshway Alpha Bo. Sub the entire Spark Alpha Bo. Alright, here we go. Feed Child. No one can dis disappoint more than Michaela here. Alright, uh, here we go. Are we gonna see a Brawl Mirror on the other side as well? Alright. So they've decided against the Moira. Probably for the best. Okay. That's smart by the XL to... It's like they forgot that... Godsby was gonna do that again. So good play by Godsby on the off angle. Gets the pick. Nice play, nice play. There you go. There we go, Spark. That's what, that's what we call playing a win.
This is the way- wait, Sideshow just stopped reviewing it? <laughs> it's so bad. It's actually just so bad. Oh, Bianca was being stalled? Alright. That was a good stagger. Wait, Jonak didn't lamp? Alright, Jonak dies with, while holding his lamp. They actually could have won this fight if that lamp goes down. Obviously an uphill battle, but they're just going to bleed out now. They just don't have enough healing. You just straight up quit, yeah. Alright, here we go. The Sparks seem to be on a roll. I'm not going to say MYXL are playing great, but they're, they're moving. Yeah, here we go. Three fights. This is why you do it. What is... MCD? Why there? Hello? Why are you putting it so far forward? No one can utilize that. Just put it in the back. What the fuck was that shit? Oh, actually, you shouted a couple people. Nice job. I'm sorry. I just assumed you missed. I didn't see the. I didn't see the stunts. Oh. All right, there we go. It, the the scary thing is, it's not even like one player is fucking up. There's just so many bad plays from so many different players. Like obviously. Gushway is is the main person taking hits right now, but you know, like there's a there's a lot of great bad plays. We'll say that. I was gonna give them a little bit more credit than they were they deserved. Did that go through the window? How does Gubbies die? Oh yeah, that does go through the window and murder him. Alright. I was gonna blame that window. That window is not great. But they also walled their own window. Like, Ivy! Drop the wall! What are we doing here? Oh, there's a May here. Oh, what are you doing here? What the fuck? Architect. Oh, nice wall. Oh! That was ambitious. That was an ambitious. Oh my. I will say one thing. Gushway is hitting the pins. Hmm. Beat engage. Counter beat. There's a whole lot of pinning going on over here. Oh no. How did they win this? Bernard's kind of fucking. I will say that. Bernard is doing a good job. Cause you can quit. No. I will make it through to the end. You can see the state of the game based on Cuss's hair. Yeah, sorry. I've just been pulling it out a little bit too much. Alright, here we go. This is a pin brawl meta, oh no. Alright. Bernard did not get the eat. They are in trouble. Nice lamp. By MCD. Alright, Gushui is dead. Okay. What was their plan when they decided to fight in this small room, right? What is the what is the plan? So if you're you're the Hongzhou Spark, right? It's the window here and throw a fire strike through it. Ready, 
It was almost good timing. Gushue needs to be swinging here. Like, it, it, I, this is like you need to be swinging. Like, he's just not doing anything. He needs to just swing. Like, that's mainly it. But also, I don't think you need to force that window. Like, you have a window. They have mail. Like, you shouldn't be fighting in this room. Like, this room is like, they're just hoping that they get a lucky kill with the window fire strike. Custer thinks these teams have plans. I f I hope they do. They have good players. I've lost to all these guys at some point in my career. I'm sure you haven't broken down. Oh, you should go back and watch Busan. I fucking lost it. Gooseway's gonna fucking... When people, like, now when people enter the conversation with like, Oh, is Gooseway one of the best main tanks in the league? No. Just no. Alright, here we go. Alright, they thought better of it. They're gonna go to the low ground? Don't you guys, don't you guys like practice this shit? If you're gonna go for a, m oh wait, that was, wait, what, what? I thought, I thought, <laughs> I thought that was their Mabel and they were going for a tech. What? Why, what did he think was gonna happen when he made a uh, high noon on the floor? What the fuck? Okay. So I, I, that was such a throw by MYXL. They had all the positioning. Okay, Bernard ints. Oh! Yo, Gooshway pins the shatter! Dude, Gooshway's pins are actually legendary. Honestly, that's actually impressive because his damage is so low. I think more, most of his damage probably came from pins. He did 10,000 damage and I think like 4,000 of that is from pins. Gooseway back on top. Right click and shift only challenge. How many of, that's true. Gooseway has gotten a lot of pins. Which sort of like skews the rest of his data a little bit. Alright, alright. Alright, baby. Alright, here we go. Speed boost. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I just love how chaotic this is. Like, what even was that fight? Alright, so we got a window from Spark. Let's go. Spin a window fire strike. Alright, doesn't do it. Okay, sweet. Gooshway shatters Ivy. Beat goes down. Good counter beat. Everyone's kind of low. God's behind Noon. That was a lot of ults from uh, Spark, though. That was pretty- they, they win the fight, so you gotta give them credit, but they use a lot of ults. What was that, five? Look at the IDK boop. Alright, what, what did IDK do? Just fucking with Bianca. Before this? At the high noon eye. We'll go further back. Before this? Yeah, before this. Dude, why are this there? Alright, now we've gone too far. God damn it. Alright, here we go. 
Probably could have saved the blizzard, yeah. I think they were they didn't expect the uh I don't think they expected the double kill high noon. Yeah, I've already talked about uh Chengdu High Hunters and Philly. Yo! Get fucked! Nice by ADK. Love to see it. I didn't even notice that. Yeah, pull! <laughs> Alright, here we go. Spark are on a roll right now, but. I will accept this if you kill a lot of people. Kidding me, Godsby? You're actually kidding me. You were doing so well. Everything's finally coming together. You got a push and you switched to fucking Widow against Brawl. What are you expecting to happen? That nobody's gonna look at you the whole fucking time, and then you get caught in spawn and you just stay Widow the entire time, just body shotting everyone. If you don't fucking Fuck, they gotta play King's Row later. I was I was kind of optimistic. Maybe they won't play a map that's gonna force them to play Brawl again so I won't have to rip my eyes out. But unfortunately, we're gonna end up on King's Row. But hey, it's fine. It's the second map. <sighs> Widow stats? Let me have a look for you. Never mind, it like crashed. Oh yeah, it...
Yeah, reset. So I, I ain't watching it for the reset. To fire their coaches. <sighs> Just so bad. But like, even then, like as much as yes, that is on the coaches. I don't know what the fuck they've been screaming this whole time. The players should know better. Wait, is this a full hold? Oh my god. What? All right, Guangbong. All right, Gosby sh actually should play a hit scan here. So, Guangbong, baby. Guangbong in the lineup. One of the more hype players for MYXL. Uh, let's see how he does. Almost got, oh, actually, almost got MCD'd. Apex has charged, Spark and Valiant, yeah. Gosby with one limb, four deaths, 3k damage on Widow. Oh, boy. Has Mag been living up to the hype? Yeah, I think he's been playing really well. I think he struggled a little bit in the Vancouver match, but I think he played really well. Even in the match against Dallas, he didn't do great, like, in comparison to Fields, but he was... But he's also getting EMP'd like every time it went in. Nice shot by Guangbong. Guangbong. There we go. Alright, so Spark is hurting them into a corner. It's, it's slow and steady, especially with uh, Architect going down, but here we go. No, okay, that's a problem. I hope they play Guangbong more. They're losing too much space. I like that he's contesting Godsby, but I think everyone died around him. Oh, he in trouble. Would NA's bottom four beat Apex bottom four? That's really hard to say. Like, I don't know. I like, my heart tells me yes. But, I don't know. Like, is Paris better than the Spark? Or like, on rush, yeah, on, on rush almost certainly, but then it's like, is that's not the meta in dive, no, yeah. How do you, like, I thought you played really well last year, not sure about this year. I don't think you can look at Ivy too much. I really like that he's been playing Tracer, so I think he has that Tracer May, so I'm excited to see more of it. Yeah, on Brawl, yeah. On Brawl, like, the bottom of NA will easily beat the... Like, we, we saw... The bottom of NA, they, uh, Paris Eternal, like somewhat around the bottom, beat the Washington Justice on Brawl. Like, they're, they're, the, the Washington Justice is a good team. Oh. <laughs> I don't even think this has been Guangbong's fault. What are, Guangbong's killed Architect both times. What's everyone else doing? How do we get this far in and- Oh, Dronak dies with Trance. So... MYX has a lot of ults. Good counter by- Gooseway gets Dronak with Trance. Which is not, is not great. How does Dronak... Die? Okay, where is Friday? Okay, don't worry, you got Rally. You got Rally. You've- you've got Rally. You've- you've got Rally. You've- you've got Rally. Okay. Friday was two days behind since this game was on Sunday. It's not their fault. Only got on Friday. Save it for next map. It's just like, you can't let your flex support die and then just like... He, like, he, he let like three or four people died around him and then he just like didn't rally. Like, 
You realize you're gonna get snowballed hella hard if you don't provide, put up some form of fight. And that's what happened. And then they just get pushed away from the point because he and, and he gets grabbed and then he just dies, right? I think that's on Guangbong. Yeah, that wasn't really on Guangbong. Ma he had major nerves. He was tearing up before the game. Wait, really? How, where do you hear that from? That's like massive nerves. I feel like breaking before. Oh, MCD gets Ivy. Oh, Guangbong is isolated. He said it. Oh, really? You can rally, newbie. <laughs> you can rally. Hi. Poor guy. Yeah, that, that sucks. Hopefully, you can get through that, though, because, like, something that I think needs to be stated as well is ner overcoming nerves and overcoming, like, you know, being able to exceed expectations and play, like, without having that thing is the marks of a great player, right? Like, the best players in the world don't get that nervous. Like, they get nervous and they have those things, but they don't let it affect them. You can't let it affect you because it's like, okay, so he's this nervous in his first game. What's going to happen if he makes it to the finals? Like, you could... Oh, where's the rest of his team? He... They're, they're so... He needs to get back to Jonak. If it was an arena of virus, yeah, I wonder if arena calms your nerves more. Yeah, like, I don't know. Okay. Dude, MYXL is just all over the fucking place. Right now. Hello. Hey. Oh, Guangbun got him. I think Guangbun's the only person with picks in this game. He is. I will give him something. He can hit shots. This guy knows how to shoot. Guang, uh, Guang, Guangbong's died. He got isolated that time before. And, uh, like, maybe his position... But he can aim. Dude, he just... Every time he predicts a shot, he hits it. Architect is a bullet magnet? Yeah. Bong Bong busting this shit wide open. Nice. Oh, he's in trouble. Yeah, that was a little ambitious staying here. He needed to get back to the team. He should have expected something to come. Grab ball swarm. Are you allowed to aimbot in matches? I be I believe not, no. You know what? Nick's still playing so lucky. They just look like they're a little all over the place. MCD has some carry moments. That's what everyone said that MCD was looking really good. I haven't noticed him too much in the kill feed, but I have been molding my brains out, so. It's a cool little angle I've never seen. Oh, he's feeling himself right now. Dropping out of that window. Oh. Nice kill. All right, flank. Is there anyone to help him? Help him! Nice. Oh, no, no, no. MCD remembers what team coordination looks like. Oh, all right, so here's the thing, okay? Feel the spark. Just play this. Just, just play this. Don't... I know I said this last time. We go to King's Row, and you guys fucking play Brawl, I'm gonna lose it, okay? Look how well that just went, okay? Put MCD on Zen, okay? We got a Wrecking Ball for Gooshway, that's kinda nice, oh yeah! Then we can have Gosby, yeah, look at that! That's what you love to see, good comp by the Spark. That's what you love to see, you just play this. You guys are gonna do great, huh? Look at us, you guys are gonna do great. 
It might not be great against Brawl. Oh, oh, they're going. Oh, that's a problem. That was a really good play by MYXL. Well, uh. Here we go. I like this Sim TP strat. That was a very smart strategy. Uh, Bernard is dead. You know, hey, all I'm saying is, do you guys remember when we played on Busan and MYXL were playing Ash Mercy? Wrecking Ball. And Spark was playing Brawl. You see how they run at the opposition? That was this really cool strategy where if you run at them and you overrun them, that's how you win. They didn't even, look at this. They didn't even, they're not happy with just the Zyre pick. They know they need to get more kills. They know they need to go high ground. They need to run them down. They need to get more people off the high ground. Look at him. He sees them. Oh, Lord, they coming. Dude, they are at their spawn. MC did a good job of living. What happens when you, if you slip when you're running at them, then you die to zombies, just like in an apocalypse, okay? Sim TP is faster than Lucio. Yeah, but the point stays the same. Goodbye, MCD. Okay, Architect goes Echo. Gosby is Ash. See what we got. Okay, Mercy Ash. I like it. Okay, I like the Mercy switch. It's like it's getting cold in my room. Go to close this window. Ugh. It's not funny my mom died in a zombie apocalypse. Well, shit. Alright, here we go. Architect staggered himself. Hey, just, what a nice guy. Hey guys, what's going on? What are we... You just vibing? Just vibing in here? Jonic, I swear to God, shut up. Oh, those footsteps might have given it away. Yeah, they fucked that up. Good idea. Not very well executed. Oh god. Help Ivy. They have the cart. Which is the main thing. God's been, what? What are you doing? But why? Nice beat. Yeah, fuck that bomb. Okay, Architect's kind of fucking right now. Well, what do we got here? Best friends? Best friend squad? Oh god, that's gonna be a big freeze. That's a problem. That's a problem. Oh wow, well played by Ivy. Friday actually did a bunch of work there as well. God's be standing for God's bad this match. <laughs> best friend squad, dude. The best friend squad was vibing, you see then? And my side have the very best friends. Alright, here we go. It's funny to watch every time. It's just funny to watch. Alright, good bomb by Bernard. Oh, that kind of ended up in a weird spot. I didn't realize it went that way. If it landed like here, that would have been good. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, floor with the flank. I like it, I like it. They res it. 
Oh, MCD flank, baby. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. <gasps> he actually got Drone Axe, so you take those. But Friday just murdered him. Here we go. There's a hole. Like, the, this composition for the Spark isn't optimal, right? It's not the best comp in the world. But it's also not the worst comp. Like, it, you got, this is one of those cases where you just play to what you're good at. As much as Wrecking Ball Diva, like... Ash Echo isn't the best on King's Row. Like, it's so much better than them just playing the Brawl and, like, losing to it heads up. Yeah, Force MYXL to switch. I don't really like how they've done this with their ultimates. They have, like, they want to keep beat male. So their comp is kind of wonky for this first fight. So we'll see how this goes. I honestly just think you hard engage with beat male, right? No, I guess you can't even engage. I think you just run to point with beat male. Poor Florida and never play rush, dude. Just do it. If you There you go, there's the beat. What the fuck, Ivy? What are you doing over there? Never want to see Yaki on May again, yeah. It wasn't the greatest thing we've seen. Especially from Yaki. We have we have high expectations of Yaki. Why does APEC play a lot of poke on these maps versus the NA diet playing full brawl? Uh, NA prefers to play brawl over the eastern regions. Eastern regions generally don't like... Uh, they generally play more uh, dive style. Oh, good. Alright, there it is. Architect kind of fucking right now, baby. Here we go. See? Just play to your strengths, and you can win these games. Get MCD on Zen, God's Beyond the Hits again, Gushway on anything but Ryan. <laughs> yeah, it can look good. Ivy swapped had all. Yeah, I think he stayed May to get the mail. Mail's so hard to get against his comp. Like, I just think he should have. I think he should have said earlier, but. All right, they got the Nano Winston now. It's the value of the half swap. Oh, whoa! How does that happen? How does not a single person heal Godsby? Guys! MCD! Bro! Anyone! IDK! Oh. Help? No help, apparently. That's so crazy that they got away with that. Like, the only thing they had was Nano Winston, really. And they just win off of that because no one healed him. No help? God. It's just so, like, these guys are good players. It's just such weird mistakes, like, time and time again. So, Bernago Zaya... Why do you go the Zaya? I feel like the Diva's better against this, right? And Gosby goes McCree, which I like. And IDK goes to the Brig, which I also like. Okay, the EMP is massively forced and not very valuable. Like, I don't know why they felt like they needed to drop that EMP there. That doesn't really make a whole lot of sense, but... You live and you learn. Is that a little better than D.Va vs Sombra? Maybe I, maybe, but I feel like D.Va is just more well-rounded and you can always sit on the high ground on this map. All right, Bianca resets. I want to rip my eyes out. It, this has been pretty atrocious, let's be honest. I, I have no words, just, just disappointment. How does Ivy die as well in this setup? What? Which was this? A worse? This or Paris versus London? Paris hasn't played London. Do you mean Houston versus London? Paris versus Vancouver? 
Paris versus Vancouver was very bad at the start, but it got better. But even then, it wasn't great. Yeah, they, 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 they both suck equally. All right, Godspeed gets the high noon off. It's a much better EMP. That one, like, wasn't forced. Wait until it was time. Drop that shit. Gushway's gonna get hacked again. Yeah. Much better by MY self. Like, force a fight, get an engage, force them to do something other than, like, just, like, stand back. If you just, you can't just force an EMP into their, like, especially their front line and then expect, you know, not to do it. Not to do worse. Are both teams genuinely awful? They're not awful players. They just, they just look lost. They, they're in one of those situations, like, you know, everyone's had them, you know. I've, I've been on teams. I've been on Dallas Fuel. I've been on an 0-7 Valiant. Here's what happens. These teams lose confidence for whatever reason in themselves, in each other. They don't have a good grasp on the meta or something. And then they just, like, it creates this, like, cascading effect of things just get worse and worse and worse. And people make more and more mistakes because all of a sudden they're under pressure. Because they're under pressure, they do dumber things. When things are working, it's so easy to play well. It really is. But when things are sort of falling apart, it's so easy to make the dumbest mistakes. And that's what's happening. People are making, like, stupid mistakes. Dumb plays. And that's just the pressure getting to them. Of, like, feeling... Feeling like they're, uh, you know... They're gonna lose the game if they don't do something. Spark just... No, it was Spark playing awfully. Spark have been awful. But MYXL haven't even been that good. MYXL have been... They've been better. Like, they, they they look good on this Wrecking Ball comp, and I think they, they're... They're not bad. Honestly, MYX aren't that bad. Spark look really lost. Especially when they play the Brawl. So we're gonna see... Mirror comps? Okay. Wow, good movement by Yakbung. Got out of there. Okay. Spark's doing a good job of taking space. Oh, How many times has that happened in this series where Architect just gets dinked? At, at some point, it's not even just the players being good. He must be putting himself in situations where he's given the opportunity to get dinked. He's been picked first on Tracer like a lot, especially to Ashes. So he's definitely pathing in a, in a poor way. Friday, please no feed. Okay, they gave up a tick. I don't mind it. I don't mind giving up a tick if it's going to keep you in control. Oh, Architect dies again. Oh. Where's Godsby throughout all this? Just playing far back. Feels like Gushue and Architect are trying to do everything on their own. Architect fucking slapped on the shock. Yeah, and it just becomes a thing of like, is he getting the help he needs? But I, I've, I say this time and time again. I think Architect plays a supporting DPS role so well. Even on the shock, I don't think he was ever that hardcore carry DPS. He was just that really solid player that you wanted to have on your team. Does Spark look like a strong team? I... On paper, Spark looks like a pretty solid team, but I feel like people over-exaggerate how good the team is. Architect didn't play Tracer on Shock as well. Yeah, he was mainly a hit scan player. Like, why doesn't he just put it there? Wow, both of these bobs are so trash, they're just shooting at each other. <laughs> Alright, we got a grab from the MYXL. Alright, good counter grab with the mines. 
Good trans by Jonak though, is gonna be. And that cost Spark everything. That cost them the Pulse Bomb, Bob. Mines, Grav, Trance. The only thing they have is IDK Rally. Bob on Bob violence. Hey, at least Bob's- at least Bob's have each other. I do not want to see these bobs. <laughs> I usually like bobs, not these bobs. The bobs are bad. Oh. Yuckpong gets isolated. Ivy is dead as well. I had to, I respect the attempt at throwing it. Oh, yeah. That, wh why are the three best friends ever hanging so far back? What are we doing here? Did we loot? What are we doing here? Why are we here? They're so far away. What are they afraid of? A rally? Is this zone? They're so far back. Like, I can understand playing here, but they- look at how much space they give them. They even- Why? And then, like, Yakpung and Ivy feel like they need to do something, and they literally have no support. Dude, MYXL just want to play some more games. They were just like, hey, don't worry, you guys- you guys have first point, okay? We didn't want a first point hold you. Don't worry about it. We're just gonna- we're gonna walk away. That's so weird. That's so weird why they- they literally just didn't even fight. They just gave it to them. Now I'm mad because I don't even want to watch this anymore. I'm over it. I've, I've molded my brains out. I don't, like, come on. At least fight for it. At least make a mistake. They only had Zen heals? No, they didn't. What do you mean they only had Zen heals? The brig was there. Oh, brig's, brig's here. Here you go. Now walk up. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Press W cowards, no going. No going, yeah. I didn't realize the brig wasn't there until like that's why they were so far back to begin with, but it doesn't doesn't excuse why they didn't go when the Friday was back. Like, it's no reason to play that passive. Press W challenge. Alright, good isolation on... Yeah, these guys are playing so passive. I don't even know how Ivy and Yakpong get this kill. That's actually kind of nuts that they get this kill. There's literally no pressure being applied anywhere. I you can't... IDK was just was not paying attention. Oh, okay. And then he gets fucked. Yeah, IDK just wasn't ready for that. Hello. But now that 180, oh, he was ready for it. Don't worry about that. Alright, Gushui going around the long way. Why did Friday use his bash for that? <laughs> Guys, we can't keep meeting like this. <laughs> I think it's punched by Godsby. Friday thinks uh, he's as fast as Bolia, yeah, question. But still sus display this season, yeah. I feel like all of NA could beat these hot teams. Ah, uh, no, I don't think they could all beat these teams. I think most of NA would definitely beat the shit out of these teams, right? Like, but I think there's like the very bottom end. Like, London also looked 
London also looked really bad. Uh, I think Paris had some moments, and I think even Vancouver... Even Vancouver had some moments, but... Go on! Okay, questionable grab. London bottom of an NA is so sad, yeah. They had a really bad weekend. Vancouver taking map of justice was a pleasant surprise. Yeah, they, honestly, they played well in Anubis and Washington didn't, so. Yeah, Terry May is like a big shining light of that team, I think. Everyone press Q. That was legitimately everyone press Q. Ten seconds remaining. The first APAC rush? Yeah, APAC rush is like... I. We already knew that e, the West was always going to be better than the East in rush, but I didn't think it was going to be this this blatant. Oh, Gushway's got it. Are they gonna make it? They did. No, don't extend this map. No! Let me leave! God. Free us! Free us from this prison! Why am I back here watching this again? Exit, leave. Yo, Gosby, you're supposed to bob here. Oh, he doesn't bob, okay. Alright, they got Rally. So this is actually really hard for MYXL to win. I think they need a run. I don't think they want to take this fight anymore. Oh, big slam by Gooshway. Yeah, this is going to be really bad. They're going to cap this point. Oh, that was pretty good by Yakpong. Oh, no. How did they lose this fight? Yakpong does not fear death. Flora's really trying to hit that. I. Oh, God. 3-1 to MYXL. That... People told me it was going to be bad. I did not expect it to be that bad. That was way worse than anything I was expecting. I... They are better individual players than what we just saw. That was... Tragic. Their brawl, both teams' brawl was pretty underwhelming. MYXL was o okay, was better than Spark, but Spark were just tragic. They should never play brawl. They should always play to their strengths. Uh, MYXL just looked like the better team, though. They looked like they were getting it more together at certain points. Spark can can look good when they played that Wrecking Ball, when they have the Gusby on that Ash. But yeah, it it was it was bad. That was definitely the toilet. Oh, I can't even. You know what the worst thing? I can't even say it was the toilet bowl of the APAC region because we have Guangzhou versus Valiant coming up this weekend, which is just even worse. Which I don't even understand how it possibly gets worse, but it does. This was this was two teams that aren't in the bottom two. Oh, that's bathroom dude, and it's in the APAC region as well. We're used to the West sucking. We know we suck. We know we're not the greatest. We know we have some shit teams, but oh boy, have we really, we really changed, flipped the script on this one. And now we expect, yeah, and I think that's it. I think it's we expect so much from APAC and it just, it's rough. So I can understand why Spark had some immediate action. I'm sure a lot of their fans were very upset watching that game because it did look just awful. There was just so many bad things about it. So not too surprised we saw a massive overhaul in coaches. Um, yeah, remember when people thought Philly was going to be the bottom of APAC? NYXL is going to be better than Philly. Custer, have you seen these new additions for NYXL? Dude, Philly, Carpe's washed, Custer. Carpe can't play up to this level anymore. God. Thank you very much for watching. Peace out. Love you all. See you soon.